Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 19, 2021. If you'd like to support John, you will need to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So, Friday, a horrible day for the stock market in general, and also these in the, most of these indices. We dropped here in the S&P 500, and we are approaching the 20 exponential moving average. So if you look at this candlestick here, we can see there is absolutely no pullback at the end of the US session. And that is an indication that, well, people are not willing to buy at basically the end of the session, and expectations is that this will continue lower. You can see that we are we have a crossing here of the MACD, which is very bearish. Last time this crossed was back over here, and then we had this drop here, all the way down to the 50 moving average, and then rallied. So we could see something similar here. That basically means that we'll drop to the 50 down here, 4,239 before rallying. If that breaks, then the bottom of the bullish band are roughly 4,200 is going to come into play and break below these previous lows here. And then we're looking at 4,000. We're still in an uptrend and uh, every single time we have basically gotten close to the 50 moving average, it has continued rallying. Stochastic is very bearish and RSI is bearish as well. Still a lot of room to the upside, uh, downside before, before we get to oversold conditions. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar. There's no pullback at the end of the US session. Very bearish indeed. And um, at the moment, the MACD, it looks like it's one, two or two days of, away from crossing the signal line. And uh, well, last time we did that, this happened. So we basically fell off a cliff here. So we're trading at the 34,639. Uh, 34, and uh, if we break the 20 exponential, 50 comes into play. And then the bottom of the bullish band, which is roughly at 33,600. Break below this candlestick here. Then we open the door to 32.5. And then the 200 moving average. Stochastic is very bearish. And RSI is also bearish. And there's a lot of room to downside so let's look at the nasdaq so nasdaq also fell uh, more than the others and there is no pullback here so that is kind of saying something uh, for uh, this market break below the 20 exponential opens the door all the way down to the 50 down here at the uh, 13 uh, 14 000, sorry and that is probably as far as this will go yeah, break below here. Then we're looking at the two, uh, 200 moving average at 13,118 at this point. Technical indicators are all very bearish. MACD has just crossed the signal line. That is a very bearish indication. Uh, the stochastic is also bearish, and so is the RSI. And uh, yes, at current stage, I don't really have anything really positive to say about this. In order to go higher, we need to take out these to treat uh, this candlestick here of roughly 15,000 before going to 15,516,000. ,000. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX really fell off a cliff, but uh, we have been doing this for technically forever. So we have to go all the way back here. This is basically the start of June, where we started to trade within this square. And it's not until we basically break 15,300 that we are thinking about going to 15,000 and then dropping all the way down to the 200 moving average at the 14,250, give or take. Taking the we can see the MACD has just crossed the signal line, the Kasik is bearish, and so is the RSI. Momentum is definitely the downside, but it also looked really bad here. We bounced. It looked bad here. We bounced. So until we basically break below these candlesticks here, there is uh, no really no interest in mind of basically starting to short this at this current stage. Yes. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So you can see really fell off a cliff. And also here, even though we fell way below the bottom of the Bullinger band, there's no pullback. And that is a kind of massive warning. But we didn't have similar candlestick right here. There's a little bit of pullback, but we did fall and then rally. So we are very overstretched. We are approaching 30 and uh, well, there's still room to the downside if this wanted to fall. But usually when this breaks below the bottom of the bullish band, it bounces. So 
it's going to be interesting what this how this opens if it opens lower opens higher and so on uh, the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So I'll break below this kind of stick here, roughly 6,950. 6, that could open the door all the way down to 6,750. So let's look at China 50. So Chinese um, stocks are doing terrible at this point. So this had a really nice rally up towards 20... Uh, exponential and then just bang we did end in green but considering how much we rallied and how big of a pullback this is that is an inverted hammer and not a very good sign break below the 300 moving average the green line here opens the door to 16,000 15,000 and then uh, much lower than that you can see that the MACD is very bearish the casting is bearish and the RSI is flat there's still a little bit of room to the downside before we get into overshold conditions um but yes, it's not a good sign to be honest. We could be bouncing, going sideways, and bouncing between the 20 exponential and 300 moving average for the foreseeable future. But break below here, then it's not looking really good for uh, this um, industry. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.